Hello my darling Leos and happy birthday to you. I hope you're having a wonderful summer if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. On the 1st of August, we have a new moon happening in your sign of Leo in your first house. So you're going to feel fabulous starting August, okay? All of this energy, Venus and Mars are also there in your first house in Leo. A new moon is when the sun and the moon conjunct. The moon recharges its batteries. It uses the energy from the sun to get ready for its next monthly cycle. And the moon is pitch black. And it's time to manifest and to plant seeds of intention for what you want to happen in the next 30 days. So it's in Leo, it's in your sign. So what is it that you want to do in this month? What do you want to achieve? Do you want to be promoted? Do you want to be seen? Do you want to build an audience? Do you want to start a YouTube channel? Do you want your book published? Do you want to get someone to see your point finally? What is it that you want to create? Focus on that, imagine it as a seed, plant it in this very fertile ground and watch it flourish as the month progresses. That manifestation energy lasts until the 12th of August and Mercury is direct, the communication planet. So thinking is much easier and clearer than it was in July. But today on the 12th of August, Mercury finally leaves Cancer, where it was very emotional and it thought about, it thought in a feeling way. The emotions were always involved when it came to feeling and thinking. Yeah. And now it moves into your sign of Leo on the 12th. So you're really at your peak. The communication planet is in your sign your confidence, your sense of fun, your sense of enthusiasm, your sense of wanting to be free. Mercury encourages you in all of those ways and really shows you what you can do to feel best in your own skin, to enjoy certain thrills and adventures, how to be a leader, how to motivate other people. Again, how to manifest yourself the way you want to be and the way you want to be seen. On the 15th, we have a full moon in Aquarius. I'll make a separate video on the full and new moons. But the full moon in Aquarius happens in your seventh house of relationships. And because you're feeling yourself and you're feeling good within yourself, you really have no beef with anyone else. You don't need to compete. You don't need to compare with yourself with other people. And you feel incredibly generous when it comes to other people. So you have time for others, you have time to help and support them, and you are going to give away useful, loving, helpful energy to people free of charge around the 14th, 15th, and 16th of August, because you can, because you're a humanitarian, because you love other people, and you're in a good space. So you're like, you got a problem with that? legal issue, the tax issue, the work issue, the moving issue, I'll help you because I'm your friend and I care about you and I love you. So what you put out, you get back. It's the law of the universe. So you're putting out really fabulous, warm, loving energy this month and you'll get that back by other people being of service to you and helping you out. On the 18th of August, Mars, which is kind of your uncle, in a way. Mars rules Aries, a fire sign. You're ruled by the sun and that this is your birthday month is great with the sun being in Leo. But Mars moves into Virgo in your second house on the 18th. So you're going to start looking at how you can gather information that's going to help you improve your financial situation. On the 21st, Venus, the planet of love and beauty, joins Mars in your second house of money. And when the male and the female come together, and when they're close and intimate, they create new beginnings, new life, new relationships, marriages, children. So both of them are in Virgo. On the 21st, you're going to have a Eureka epiphany moment where you're looking at information that comes through yourself. It comes through your existing work. It comes from overhearing what other people have said 
or it comes as a tip off because you've helped someone and someone is now giving you information free of charge and you're able to break that information down, make sense of it, and this is the important bit, you're going to be able to apply it in a way that gives you a new start, a new beginning in your financial life. It is the potential beginning of a new source of income that also applies if you're retired. You're able to use this information, put it into practice so that you have more money coming in, you're more abundant, you're more prosperous, and money is something that washes over you here in August. On the 23rd, the sun moves into Virgo and it joins Venus and Mars in your second house. So the sun, your identity is now all about, okay, I've got this information. I think I'm onto something here. Until the end of the month, I'm really going to work and try and break this information down so that I can use it to make money. So for instance, if you find like you're using Bitcoin and for instance, you find a pattern in the way it goes up and down and you're really in that and you know how to, when to sell and when to buy so that you can just make a profit by selling and buying stocks and shares. You have a knack for money. Virgo is really close to Taurus, its cousin, Earth sign, and Taurus rules money. And with Venus, not Venus, Virgo, being in your second house of money, which is traditionally ruled by Taurus, you have this sponge, this, this desire to absorb all information and create a library of thoughts and to create your own meaning. You've got that going on in your money life. So you are good with money. Don't listen to what your granny says about money or what your sister says. You're the expert when it comes to money. And if an idea pops into your head, don't dismiss it, listen to it, follow it. It's very, very likely to have a fabulous, fabulous effect on your finances. Now, at the end of the month, on the 30th of August, we have a black moon. That's what a new moon is called when we have two new moons in one month. So we had the first one on the 1st of August. Now we've got another new moon happening on the 30th of August. So the witches are getting their spells out and for good reason because a black moon happens every 29 months, every two and a half years approximately. And it's like a new moon on steroids. It's the same thing. It's being able to plant seeds of intention and seeing them manifest. But this one is magical. Manifestation work is the way we create magic here on planet Earth. We think it, we see it in our mind's eye, and it becomes reality. It happens in your second house, in Virgo, in the house of money. So look at where you want to be financially. See yourself on a pile of money, on a golden throne. See yourself as the boss of several businesses. See yourself as having your own jet and being able to fly around the world, if that is what you want. See yourself as having a farm and financial freedom or enough money to get by every month if that is what your desire is. Imagine yourself having enough money in the bank so that you can live off the interest. Whatever it is you want to create when it comes to money, use this magical black moon to manifest that. And out of all of the signs this month in August, Leo, you're the one who's able to create a fantasy when it comes to your money life and to make that a reality. So congratulations. That's what I get for you in August. Have a lovely month. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Hit the subscribe button. And if you're feeling generous, please also share this video. I use astrology, tarot, and numerology in my personal reading so I can answer any of your questions. Have a fabulous August. Mwah. Kisses to you, and I'll speak to you next month.